Uh, this is a quick overview of some number history. A Euclid was important for over 2,000 years. You want some understanding of it for the historical perspective. And according to some, the non-symbolic verbal descriptions can help develop mathematical thinking. Now the line here uh, symbolized the idea of a unit. Multiples of the unit are numbers. The unit itself is not a number. One is usually not a number. Uh, there, it's not shown here, but there were no zeros. Uh, there were proportions and ratios, but no fractions. Uh, the unit was considered indivisible. Magnitudes were different from numbers. Uh, numbers were discrete. Magnitudes were continuous. They were measured. Numbers are counted. Measurements uh, imply a proportion. A magnitude is to the unit magnitude as a number is to one. Now, the numbers in this proportion in the modern sense uh, could be uh, thought of as the coefficients of the unit element of the set. Uh, Descartes originally thought in terms of these proportions when he started thinking about algebra and analytic geometry. Uh, later on, equations became more important for him in describing these continuous curves and applications in physics. Uh, in Joyce's online version of Euclid, the equality of real numbers is discussed here at this page, and also the equivalence relations, which... Uh, allow us to think as if those uh, real numbers exist. And here you can see how the first couple of numerals we use uh, derive from this idea of uh, multiples of a unit of value. The Arabic units we use apparently were just uh, three lines written real quick from right to left. And here everything is converted back into the uh, numerals we use today. Now uh, when counting most people start by uh, using their fingers as discrete units. Uh, calculi or counting stones from the Middle East we use to the same effect and that's where the words calculus and calculation derive from. Uh, with the rationals you're really talking about the uh, division of the previously indivisible unit. So if you wanted to count with the rationals I would think one over the denominator would be a new unit. And on the other hand if you were thinking of measuring something one over the uh, denominator would be the unit of common measure. Is one third of a unit, another third of a unit, and a third third of a unit totaling up to one. Now here I'm using a Chinese counting board to introduce zero and the positional notation. Uh, early on, they just left a blank space for the zero, and later they uh, used a actual zero. Zero might have come from India. The actual counting board. Uh, these are bamboo rods, and they're manipulated to do calculations with. Uh, sometimes in print discussions you'll see the uh, rods uh, vertically and sometimes horizontally. Uh, with the modern decimal notation, is one thing I like to point out about the numbers to the right of the decimal point. Uh, you start with, say, uh, point 0.1. That would be uh, the number total number of units to the left plus one-tenth of a unit to the right. If you did uh, point 0.11, that would be uh, one-tenth of a unit plus one-one-hundredth of a unit to the right. 